Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Friends of Mineral Town. Guys, guys, today, today is the Fetch Feast, and we are going to win it, guys. We are going to win it. Poob is so ready. Like, look at that. He can't, he can't get more ready than that, guys. Like, <laughs> he is so ready. By the way, I like stopped playing fetch the minute I saw his bar was full. I, I honestly don't care to get like Cube and Muffin's bars full. Like, it's fine. I'm just, I want to win my fetch fest this one time. That's like good enough for me, guys. But past that, I'll get some purple grass this season, even though I don't really need it. But, you know, I don't have any of uh, the click clashes, whatever. We're going to try to win the Moo Moo Festival, but it really just all depends on Timmy and even get enough hearts by the time that happens. And and um, I don't know about the fireworks festival, but um, yeah, exciting stuff, guys. Exciting stuff. Jesus, I forget Kai comes to like meet us outside every <laughs> in the beginning of every summer. Yo, how's it going? Been a while since I've seen you, Biddy. I'll be around all summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Kai. Hi, yeah, yeah. I have max friendship with Kai, right? I think I'm going to look up like if there's any more events left with Kai that I can see. Because this may or may not be like our final opportunity to see them, right? Okay, guys. It is time. It is time. You know what? Let me get my fishing rod. I don't think I'll fish because I think this is the season for the ancient fossil, right? <laughs> but I'll just bring it just in case I want to fish. But it is time for the fetch feast, guys. For the fetch feast. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right. My house is here. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, what happens if I go in? Whoa, whoa, where are you going? We're just about to start the fetch fest. Wow, dude, this is my house, huh? What if I didn't care about the fetch fest, huh? Can't go in my house? All right, let's see. You're participating, good luck. I'm pretty sure I've read this at least once. Oh, you've entered, I'll be watching you do your best. You entered, good luck. You're taking part, good luck. Th right, there's only like four people that come to watch this like freaking holiday here. I'll be cheering you on and Go for first place. Okay, so I remember we can check this. 85 meters! Last year, wasn't it like 50 meters or something? Henry. It's okay, I've gotten more than that. Okay, okay, it's fine. I saved before coming, guys. So if I lose, you know you know what's happening. <laughs> okay, let's uh, try this. Like, there was no more... There was no other way I could have prepared to this. Yes, I know the rules. All right, boob, we got this, we got this, boob. Oh my God. You got this, boob, you can get it, you can get it. Come on, poop, come on. I don't know, I don't think it's running fast enough to be able to catch it. I think it's running too slow. Ah, poob, look 90, we would have won. Poob! Dude, he doesn't catch it like a lot of the time. The same, the same thing happened during the, the practice. Oh God, this is awful. We're gonna lose. We're gonna lose, guys. I'm gonna have to do this again because I'm gonna win this. And he still didn't catch it. Seriously? Se no, 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 no. Freaking. Okay, guys, we're back. That last time did not count. Come on, Poop, just catch one of them. Just catch one of them. Okay, I think he's running fast enough. I think he might be running fast enough. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Poop! <laughs> Please, Poop, you can't get any better than how you are now. I can't fill the bar anymore. But seriously, just the fact that it relies on complete chance that he feels like actually catching. He's not running fast enough this time, I don't think. Come on. Yes. What is it? 87.4? I don't remember what, what the uh, record holder was. I guess we'll see. Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. Thank God. Okay. Just took two tries. <laughs> Oh my god, finally! Listen up, everyone. The champion of this year's Fetch Fest is Biddy! It was a total victory. Good work, you two. Oh my god, Power Berry! Yes! Oh my god, guys, we finally won. The Fetch Fest is now over. Blah, 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 blah. <gasps> we did it! Oh, I got my, my thing. What's the last Power Berry? Let me guess. It's from the Moo Moo Festival. <laughs> The only festival that I have yet to freaking win. Oh my god. Congratulations, Biddy. I had a hunch that you'd win. Great job. You must have practiced a lot, huh? Join in again next year and get a winning streak going. Oh my god. Yes. My goodness. What a victory. I'm as happy as I'd won myself. 
congratulations. Just what I'd expect from someone who works on a farm. You've got a real way with animals. I mean, it just really depends if my dog feels like hatching it, honestly. After seeing you in action, you totally deserved it. Congrats on your win. Woohoo! Awesome! You won! Wow. Oh my god. Yes, yes, yes. So is he gonna like still yell at me if I am... Um... Ooh! Ooh, purple grass. Yes. Is he gonna yell at me if I try coming in here now? Ah, uh, that was fun. Well, time to get back to work. <laughs> yeah, my beach house that I never come to. It's so pretty in here with like the blue carpet and everything. And I never come in here. Well, back to my real house. <laughs> Poop, you did great, baby. Oh my god, you poop, you can't be healthy. Oh my god. Okay, time to forage. <laughs> I gotta forage. I want the purple grass just because, you know, I just want to make sure that I have everything possible. And, you know, maybe there's a chance I can do the achievement where I eat one of each dish that I can cook. We'll uh, see about that. Okay, guys, so I have cleaned my farm up and made sure to till the soil so tomorrow I can uh, plant things. But also, more importantly, <laughs> um, we're going to change the song. I think I forgot to try out the other spring song. Yeah, from Tree of Towns. I forgot to do that last spring. So what are we in? Summer? Hmm. All right, I'm just going to go with the uh, Tree of Towns summer theme here. That's what we're doing. <laughs> Sounds pretty cute. All right, guys. Tomorrow we're going to buy some crops. Okay, I bought my crops. Guys, this, this summer music from Tree of Towns is so freaking cute. Like, I really like it. Also, I realized, I think I purchased pineapple seeds in the spring for some reason. I tried to plant them and then I got confused because I like, I was like, where'd they go? <laughs> all right, guys, I got all my crops planted here. Uh, I already asked my sprites to come and help me. I forgot to do it um, yesterday, but uh, yeah, got a whole bunch of pineapples and a whole bunch of uh, pumpkins because I don't feel like I don't have that many of those. And, uh, you know, I got my one patch of flowers like I do and all my grass. See, and I got to water it all. <laughs> also, guys, I want you to know that despite it being year four and these guys working for me every day, I don't think I have ever gotten more than four, maybe five musical notes on a single one. Oh, except Cherry, apparently. I think Cherry loves me the most. I think Cherry's always loved me the most since the beginning. But other than that, like, <laughs> they don't really like me all that much, you know? But, you know, I can't imagine why. Oh my god, you guys, I actually managed to catch Marie's family while they were up here. Every time they said they go to Mother's Hill on Mondays, I thought they meant, like, up. Like, up the mountain. <laughs> oh, it isn't Biddy. Are you on a botanical survey as well? Papa brings me and Mama out to the mountain even in the winter. I'm grateful that he can dig deep within and find some discretion when it's snowing outside, at least. Mother's Hill is full of things to find. I honestly do have a good time up here. Maybe I'll make jam again. Today's my favorite day of the week, bar, bar none. They say that if you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. But now that I'm doing it, I only have time to be outdoors one day a week. Oh, cruel, cruel world. Aww. Oh, that's so funny. I'm so happy I caught them. Oh, now they're leaving. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. I came, you know, foraging. Brandon's here. I spoke to him by chance. I wasn't even expecting him to say anything other than like the Forgotten Valley thing, but he's actually saying new dialogue. Oh my god. You seem well. I guess it is true what people say about parenthood being a transformative force. Children are geniuses. They see things for what they are and can express themselves with enviable clarity. Wow. Oh my god, he actually mentioned, like, my child, kind of. Oh my god. You know what this song reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of, like, a Hey You Pikachu song. <laughs> for anyone that played that game on the N64. I don't know what it is. There's something about the vibe to the song that just really reminds me of it. And I can't place why. I guess just... I guess just the way it sounds, I don't know. Oh, here's Rick. Right, the Cluck Cluck Clash. I actually don't think I'm gonna participate in this, guys. Because I was thinking about it and like I could like enter another chicken. I could always just enter a chicken that won already, but then it's like, what's the point? And like, I don't need the friendship. So it's like, meh, you know, do you win like extra trophies if you do it? 
Because the problem with me entering is I think it makes them get platinum eggs. And I already have like a lot of platinum eggs, guys. Like I kind of want like other eggs that are like lower than platinum. <laughs> like you know what I mean? I think I'm actually just not going to enter. Which is fine because I can I can see what happens when I don't enter. I actually don't think there was ever an instance where I did not enter the Cluck Cluck Clash. Like I think I did in my first year even. Because you know, chickens are so cheap to purchase. I think I got, like I think my first animal <laughs> might have been a chicken. Guys, guys, Timmy is at four. Yeah, at eight hearts. Timmy's at eight hearts. Dude, it's only the seventh. Thank goodness. Oh my God, we've got the Moo Moo Festival in the bag, guys. Oh my God, Timmy's the chosen one. And what's really great is that I still have Tommy here. He's not grown up yet, but um, I'll have Tommy here. And once he reaches eight hearts, he'll also start producing, you know, um, large milks. And since he won't have, oh, whoops. <laughs> since he won't be winning the Moo Moo Festival, what am I doing? I don't know why I'm trying to milk him. I'm so sorry. But yeah, since I'm not going to be entering him in the festival, he will stay giving me large milks because I'm pretty sure Timmy is going to give us, you know, whatever the higher tier is of milk after he wins, you know, like pea milk or whatever the heck it is. And like, you know, we need large milks. But at least we can start getting some from him before the festival, guys. In fact, I think we actually got one today. I didn't even realize. Let me see. Oh my god, our f guys, it's our first large milk ever in the game. It took us four years. <laughs> it took us four years to get here because of my horrible, horrible planning. Oh my god. Milk from a cow with a very high affection level, drinkable and chippable. Jesus. I'm pretty sure most people probably got that by like their second year at least. Like, jeez. Okay, guys, it is time for the Cluck Cluck Clash. We're going to see what happens when I don't enter. Because I'm pretty sure I've never entered this. I think the first year I entered and I and I, uh, I lost. But I've never not entered, you know? Chickens are so cute. The Cluck Cluck Clash is a real hoot. Or should I say Cluck? <laughs> oh, if it isn't Biddy, the Cluck Cluck Clash is a proper tournament, you know? We take it very seriously. <laughs> this is a festival I look forward to every year. Don't you think we could learn a thing or two from the way the chickens fight with all their might? What noble birds. Shouldn't this be like illegal, guys? <laughs> like, like bird fighting? Man. I'll be watching the festival from here. Why? He's like secretly actually uncomfortable with this festival, but he has to attend because he's the mayor. Oh man, that was all new dialogue since like I've always entered. So I've never seen their dialogue when I don't enter. All right, let's see. If you're confident about winning, you I'm not entering. I have a feeling that we're just not going to see anything, you know, kind of like how in the Fetch Fest we didn't see anything until we could actually enter. Let the feathers fly. All right, release the chickens. Yeah, <laughs> reminds me of like the uh, the Moo Moo Festival and the uh, Fluffy Fest. The birds bravely battled on and the Cluck Cluck Clash was, was a huge success. It's now over. Yeah, okay. I, I pretty- I, I assumed that's what it would be like. Let me see. Hmm, that was quite the clash. Yes, indeedy. That was so much fun. Chickens are adorable. Phew, I got tired just watching them. So that chicken won after all, just as I thought. The feathers were flying, the beaks were snapping, and I've never had heard such a ruckus. I had a rip-roaring time. What a fabulous contest. Truly inspiring. You should have participated, Biddy. Well, you know, I didn't want to, Thomas. I've already won this, and I know I would have won again if I participated. <laughs> well, that was so cool. Cool. I'm really glad I didn't participate. We got to see all the, the new dialogue that we've never gotten to see before. Nice. Oh my god. Okay. So, I had a feeling something might happen on the 9th, because her birthday is on the 9th, and it's been like two seasons since she was born I was like maybe now something will happen because last uh in spring nothing happened so <laughs> I was like I was like surely something must happen this month right and lo and behold I'm assuming that's what this says unless it's something else hey doll face wake up <gasps> oh my god look at her she's wearing her little outfit <gasps> when I got up Ellie had fallen out of the bed you see you see, this is why you don't just leave your baby on the bed unsupervised all the time, guys. <laughs> That's dangerous. Dollface, what the heck are we supposed to do? What? Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Oh. 
I was gonna say like, oh, she's blonde just like her dad, but I'm like, I think she's always blonde every time, no matter who the parents are. Oh my god. Uh, I guess let's go to the clinic. Everything's fine. It's just a flesh wound. She's fine. <laughs> now let's go to the clinic. Uh, oh yeah, the clinic. Yeah, let's go. It's okay, Ellie. I'm taking you to the clinic right away. Oh, I wish I could see him hold her. Dad. I love how she's just. I love how she's just on the floor. Yes, everything's fine. It's just a small scrape, no broken bones or anything of the sort. Is everything really okay? Ellie was crying like crazy. I mean, I'd be more worried of like a, con uh, you know, like a concussion or something. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about, but children get more active at this age, so you must keep a watchful eye. Put up a guard around the bed, or lay rugs or thick mats down on the floor. I mean, I think we should have had that shit, you know, when it was a baby. You know, that's what cribs are for. You want to know why cribs have the freaking little side thingies? To prevent the baby from falling off. <laughs> you also don't leave the baby home alone for hours at a time with nobody else there. Jeez. Yeah, thanks. Phew, what a relief. I'm so glad it wasn't anything serious. Sorry, Ellie. Da! <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Oh my god, is it going to the next day? That took a whole day? Why? Why does going to the clinic for like a couple hours take the entire day? Well, okay. At least there was nothing important, but oh my- <gasps> Oh my god, guys, look at her! Look at her go! Go, go, Ellie! <laughs> Run like the wind! <laughs> she looks so silly! She really does look like a little bug crawling around. Oh my god, oh, I can actually interact with her. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. I guess she's like a toddler right now. Wah! Wah! See, I think she only grows like one more time or something. Like they never grow into adults. So oh, she's so cute though. But she's gonna look like this when she grows again, and she'll just be a little bigger, I think. Oh my gosh, what does Gray say now? You're so good at putting Ellie to bed, dollface. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Gray. Holding Ellie makes me feel like a newbie Smith holding his first hammer. Like, why are you crying this time? <laughs> what? Have you asked your hammer why it's crying, Gray? Oh, guys, you know what I realized? I forgot to do it yesterday. I went to the next day already, but since I can interact with my child and stuff, apparently your child also has gift preferences and they apparently change depending on whether they're in the crawling stage or like the next one. And, um, residents, yeah. I don't know what the heck getting your musical notes up does because remember how I said I was going to look up if there's any like child like events that I can like see and stuff when they're older. I don't think there are any like like I looked it up. I couldn't find any and I'm like, geez, not even with the normal holidays. Is there anything special that seems to happen when you have a kid? So I'm like, what's the point of having a kid other than just like having one like walking around? It doesn't even help you with your chores or anything, guys. Like <laughs> whatever. She's cute. But um, yeah, so I'm going to start giving her gifts every day. And apparently one of her favorite gifts when she's a crawler is all yarn and wild grapes. She likes a bunch of other stuff too, but you know, wild grapes, easy, easy peasy, especially since we get them this, um, this season. Okay, guys, so I've been doing some reading, right? Because ever since I won the, oh, well, I guess I haven't won the Moo Moo Festival yet. I love how I'm already, I've already decided that I've won the Moo Moo Festival, but since I am going to be able to win the Moo Moo Festival, I kind of realized like, well, there's no real reason for me to do year five then because, you know, that was one of the few like reasons that I might have done year five, at least, you know, breezing through it just to get things done. But um, so the last thing that was on my mind was just any possible events that I may have missed, like with the villagers and stuff, because I know for a fact that there's a whole bunch I haven't seen, you know, like not counting the hard events. Obviously, it's impossible for me to see those anymore, but um. So I've done a lot of reading and there are a lot of events that I have not seen yet, guys. I didn't look at what they were per se or like what they entailed or what happens into them because, you know, I don't want to spoil myself. But 
I basically just checked to see if it was something I did already, mainly just going by the picture because each one in this website just shows a picture. So I either recognize or I don't. <laughs> but um, yeah, and there's a whole bunch I have not seen yet, but there are actually some events that actually only trigger depending on the year. So there's only some events that you can start seeing in year two, in year three, uh, in year four. And then there's thankfully not past year five, but there are two events that you cannot see at all until you have started year five. So I think what I'm going to do is I will finish year four in its entirety and then I'll be basically be done with everything at that point. And I will start year five just to see those two events. Like I'm, I'll pretty much just try to like skip to those events, depending on like if it's at a certain season or something. Yeah. So then the other thing I'm, I want to do right before it, it um we, we like get through summer too, because I'm already on the 12th, right? So I was going to start doing some events starting now because I realized there are events that are dependent on the season and there are actually two events that I have not experienced yet that have to be done in summer. So I can't do them just yet because it's Tuesday and one of them requires it to be Sunday and I think the other one is like Monday or something. But um, yeah, but there is one other event that it needs to not be winter for and it's from 10 to 6 p.m. 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. So I'm going to try to trigger that one now just to move it just to get it out of the way. Yeah. But yeah, I figured like now was a good time to just try to start seeing events also just as a change of pace because I've literally just been doing the exact same thing in the game every single day. <laughs> so this will at least give me a little bit of variety in my gameplay. <laughs> but yeah, so I have to walk from the path by Yodel Ranch towards the forest. The path, I, you know, I should tr I should just run there because I remember reading a good while back that teleporting to places won't make events trigger. Yodel Ranch towards the forest. Yodel Ranch. Isn't this Yodel Ranch like right here? I think so. It is towards the forest. So does it mean like this way? Oh my god, yeah, it does. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool, 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 okay. Hmm, this plant is... Oh my god, Marie! Oh, hello, Biddy. Settled into married life yet? I'm sure it's quite the change, but, but do your best. Yeah, so also another thing I noticed, because I did also check requirements, like to see if I could even do them, which there are a couple, by the way, that I cannot do anymore, <laughs> which is really sad, but I'll, I'll get into that in the future. But um, there's actually quite a lot that are like, oh, you know, don't be married to this person and you could see this event, you know, or like be married, but not to this person or whatever. So that's really great that there's a whole bunch that are like that. <laughs> But yeah, so this is one of one of those, you know, don't be married, but don't be married to Marie kind of thing. Hmm, what am I doing? I'm looking for plants for Papa to use in his research. He's working hard, so I want to do what I can to help him. Oh, how thoughtful. It's nothing really. It's something I've always done. I'm a little embarrassed to be praised for it. Oh, I apologize for detaining you. I'll be heading back home now. Detaining me? Jesus, Marie. I don't think that's the correct use of that word. Is it? Like, can that word be used as a means of, like, holding someone back? Because I, I thought that detaining was like, you know, I don't know, like putting someone in handcuffs. <laughs> you know? I hope your work goes well too, Mitty. Oh, thanks, Marie. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, see, that was a simple little event. I don't know why I got that, that piece of wood. Also, I realized the purple grass is only on the beach. So I had been running through like the Mother's Hill and all the all these places for like no reason. But I'm glad I realized before it was too late in summer. Oh, well, that was super cute, though. Oh, my gosh. OK, so it's the next day, guys. So one of the summer events was actually on a Wednesday, not on a Monday. So I'm supposed to walk into Ellen's house between 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. So sunny weather, summer season. OK, so let's see what happens. Oh, Granny. Oh, my God. I'm so glad there was another one with Granny. Biddy, welcome. Yay, it's Biddy. Thank you for coming. Please make yourself at home. How's work on the farm coming along? Is it keeping you busy? Yeah, I guess. Stop it. <laughs> well, yeah, it is keeping me busy. Farming takes a lot of dedication and has many responsibilities. I think Biddy is doing a fine job. Thanks, Granny. It sounds like I could learn a thing or two from you. 
You're doing a fine job too, Ellie. Even on your day off, you're studying that book from the doctor. Yeah! Oh, but that's nothing, really. Oh, that's right. Speaking of books, I forgot to return another one I'd borrowed from the doctor. I'm sure it was on his sh on this shelf. Yes, there it is. I'll be returning this... Oh. What's the matter, dear? When I took out the book, something fell down. It looks like a letter. It's addressed to you, Grandma. Hmm? A letter for me? Oh my god. From the doctor? Gracious me, this is from Grandpa! From... <laughs> what? <laughs> from Grandpa? <laughs> Why is it in doctor's book? From Grandpa? What does it say? Just... Just hold your horses a moment. I'll read it aloud. Let's see here. Maybe it didn't fall from inside the book. Maybe it fell from like the bookshelf when she pulled it out. To my dearest Helen, I'm writing this letter on the day our wonderful granddaughter Ellie was born. I'm a grandpa now. I couldn't possibly be any happier. I'm so glad I met you. Thank you for everything. I wonder when you'll read this letter. I'm too embarrassed to give it to you. So I'm hiding it. If you do end up reading this, just treasure it in your heart, like I treasure you. Oh, oh, that's, oh, that's like so sweet. And why do I get the feeling that it's really sad because he's not like, you know, because he, like, he passed away, like maybe out of old age or something. Oh, that's so sad. So he wrote that all those years ago. Oh, Grandpa, he should have just given it to you. Your Grandpa always was a shy one. I had no idea he'd written such a thing. It's almost like he sent it from heaven. I'll have to put this somewhere safe. Stop! That's gonna make me cry! Oh my god! Oh my god, that's actually gonna make me cry. Oh my god. Jeez, freaking compose yourself. Oh my god. That actually kind of brought tears to my eyes a little bit. Oh my god, what the heck? Dude, Granny, you better never die, alright? Like, I don't think I'll be able to handle it. Oh my god. Oh my god, okay, let's 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 go. Jeez. It's just like him to hide something in a place like that. He was terribly bashful, you know. <laughs> I can't I can't with this event, guys. I never knew grandpa was that shy. I'm so glad we found that. Grandma looks over the moon. Oh my god. Grandpa, huh? I wish I could have met him. Oh my god, dude, that that's actually I can't even I can't think about it too hard, guys. I'll actually start crying. Oh my god, I need to get out of here. I can't, I can't. Yeah, that literally like kind of hurt me a little. <laughs> oh my god. It was really sweet though. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm I'm gone. <laughs> I'm gone. We're moving on. Oh my god. Oh guys, I think it's time for the birth. Our little sheepy's born. Yeah. Oh my god. You know what? You're just gonna be poof. Yeah, that's, that's good. <laughs> Oh my goodness, yes! Uh, how many hearts is this one gonna have? Let me see. Uh, no, not nature's price. Um, poof, 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 poof. Ooh, eight hearts, guys! Eight total hearts, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, oh man, if Poof can get all their hearts by the, um, Fluff Fest next year, I think I'll go ahead and enter him. Okay, guys, so it's actually the next day because I forgot to do this yesterday, but um, I wanted to, since our sheep gave birth, I was on the fence as to whether I wanted to maybe impregnate one of the other like colored cows, but I really don't need them for like any cooking. It's kind of strange, but um, so what I'm going to instead do is I'm going to do what I did with, you know, like Timmy and Tommy, and I'm going to impregnate Poofa Blue again, right? To get another because i think i think maybe we poof can get enough hearts for the fluffy fest but then you know he'll produce like the super cool like g wool or whatever so let me get another sheep that can like keep um producing you know large wool or whatever so I, what i was gonna do is because i don't need so many sheep right so poof is our newest baby here with uh enough max hearts to win and poof of blue is gonna keep giving us medium wool so we're gonna just keep poof of blue forever probably and then Pablo has their hearts maxed out already, but they can only ever give up to medium only. So I'm going to just let Pablo go since we have Poofa Blue giving us mediums already. So say goodbye to Pablo, everyone. Bye. Yes, I'm sure. Okay. Let me make sure that was the correct one. <laughs> 
So yeah, Poof is our eight hearted sheep and then Poof of Blue is our medium wool person. I'm assuming this works the same as the milks where you need eight hearts to get like the large uh, wool. Kind of like how you need eight hearts to get large milk. So now I'm going to buy the kit here. And we're going to go and impregnate Poof of Blue. I wish it would let me teleport to like, <laughs> you know, right in front of the barn. That'd be really great. And my animals are outside, right? <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Where are you, Poofa Blue? Where are you? Dude, it's so annoying that these like little weeds, they pop up every single day, man. It's always like multiple that do. Also, it's are you? You are. Hey there, Poofa Blue. Did I never freaking take care of you? Thank goodness I didn't shear you though. Cause I wouldn't be able to <laughs> wouldn't be able to do this then. Um, here we go. Yes. Perfect, okay. So that little sheepy will be born in 21 days. So I almost forgot that today's the 15th and you know Vance you're selling his penguins, but yeah. Even if I had enough hearts to get another pet, I, I would wait I would still wait to try to get the uh, capybara. I have no idea how many treats I have. How many how much would this cost? You know, let's just do it. I just <laughs> I never want to have to worry about treats, man. In case you guys are wondering how many hearts my cat has. She, uh, she's at four hearts right now. And I'm fairly certain she has to reach eight hearts. I think I read that like all your pets have to be at eight hearts to like continuously keep getting another one. So yeah, so I just need her to reach eight hearts. And I believe the capybaras are in winter because that's the one time because I've never seen them. And that's the one like the season that I always forget to check. So um. I think we can actually get a capybara, guys. Like, I think maybe we can reach four hearts by winter. If we can't, then that's fine. You know, but, you know, we'll, we'll see. I've been taking care of my cat every day, just in case. Also, since we're like at the halfway point of the season, I'm going to change it to the other summer song <laughs> just to like hear it out. Guys, amazing news. Tommy has grown, which means we can finally start getting our milks from him. Um. That's medium milk. Yeah, I think Tommy still needs one more heart. Wait, no, two more hearts? One, two, four. Yeah, two more hearts. And then Tommy will start giving us large milkies. Also, guys, my pumpkins are done. Look how cool they look. <laughs> I really love them. The, the crops in this game are so pretty looking. I'm like, I don't want to harvest them, but like, I have to. <laughs> All right, guys, one more event for the day. So this is the other event I wanted to do because it is also a winter. I mean, not winter, a summer only event. It's and it's on Sunday, which is today from 11, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. So I have to just walk into Lilia's house, apparently. So let's see what this is here. Aha, oh, I see Zach there. My, my, it's where we get a visit from you, Zach. What brings you to our home today? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh, oh, uh, n not much. Just happened to be passing by, that's all. So, uh, how you doing? <laughs> oh, God, does he have a crush on her? I mean, I know Lilia is a snatch. Oh, I've been feeling just wonderful these last few days. I'm so sorry if I worried you. N nah, not at all. I'm just glad to hear you're getting on all right. Whenever I he hear you'd had a bad spell, I just can't sleep at night. Oh, Zach, I never knew you cared so much. Thank you. Oh, yeah, he totally likes her. Oh, Zach, but she's like, she's like really in love with her husband, though. Like, it's not going to work. <laughs> like, it's not going to work out. Like, her husband needs to like literally never come back or something. But even then, she'll still hold out hope that he will one day, which is kind of sad if you think about that. <laughs> but like... Ooh. Oh, Zach. She's a married she's a married woman, Zach. <laughs> yeah, I do. A lot. You you finally noticed. Yes, I'll make sure I get be better very soon, so I don't ever worry you again. <laughs> huh? <laughs> she's like, yeah, I'll get better. Just you know, so that way you stop coming here. <laughs> huh? Is something the matter? Um nothing. Yeah, uh, I hope you get better real soon, too. Yes, I'll do everything I can. Thank you so much. N no problem. Well, uh, I guess I'd better get going. All right, take care. I mean, what were you expecting, Zach? She's married. 
<laughs> She's Mary Tack. Yo, Biddy, how's it going? Me? Uh, I'm heading home. Uh, not jeez, dude. She's married. <laughs> She's married, Zach. I mean, shouldn't you be happy that she's trying to get better? Like, geez, where are you? A nice guy, quote unquote. Hey, Lilia. Goodness, poor Zach seems so dispirited when he left. I wonder what's bothering him. Oh, Lilia, you don't want to know. Oh, wait, 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 that was new. Poor Zach always seems so shy whenever he talks to me. And he trips over his tongue a lot. I wonder why. Oh, Lily, you're so you're so dense. It's really cute. Hi, Biddy. How's the farm? Still same old, same old. Oh, okay. But Prairie's even more dense because she didn't even notice what was going on. Uh, okay, well, that was cute. That was so cute. Oh, Lilia, you're you're a snatch, Lilia. <laughs> I get why everybody loves you. <laughs> but she's still a married woman, Zach. Oh, I can't use the travel stone right now. Okay. Aha. Okay, guys, I am going to call it here for today. So next time, guys, next time we are doing the Mumu Festival and we're so going to win. I'm so happy we're going to get to win this, guys. Oh, my God. That, and that'll be all the festivals complete, baby, 100 <laughs> percent. This, I think. <laughs> oh, my God. And then past that, I'll just keep doing events, I guess, and we'll finish off summer next time and get autumn started. I know in autumn, I think there's like a couple that are also like exclusive to autumn, so we'll definitely do those. Oh, we'll get to do the concert, guys, for the last time. Oh, oh my God. Uh, what's the harvest? I always forget. I think that's the thing where we all contribute food and the moonlight night. I guess we'll see if like anything changes with our kid and stuff for, for this, but you know, our kid's still a toddler. Um, the Autumn Derby. Oh, the Fluffy Festival. We'll see if Poof gets enough hearts by by then. Probably, I'm assuming, maybe. Uh, and the Pumpkin Chain. I'm going to see if, our, if like we can give our kid candy for this, but I don't think so. I think they have to maybe be a, like a kid kid. And then comes Winter. And Winter is Ellie's birthday, guys. We're going to be her first birthday in the winter. Oh, my God. And then Valentine's Day, Starlight Night, and New Year's Soba Party. Oh, maybe in her in her one year birthday, she'll turn into like a real kid. I, I'm going to like say that's probably when and in the autumn, nothing's going to happen, probably. But yeah. Oh, my God. I'm looking forward to this movie festival, guys. We're going to take we're going to take that win. And we're going to shove it in movie's face. <laughs> We're always rigging this festival. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and comment down below. Remember to subscribe and I will see you in the next one.